I'm just gonna talk about play AC because this is a very boring part of the game. Uh, this the same thing happened with Wrath of the Druids, but in Siege of Harris, there is this mission where you unlock this thing with like wee tiny uh, replayable side quests where you have to travel a long way, like when you have to travel 2,000 meters uh, just to pick up something and travel all the way back uh, to unlock a little tiny portion of the next level. Like, level, I'm on level 3. Oh, thank god there's only four levels because in the previous one there was 10. Um, but you have to. Sorry, my mind's one blank here. So you do these 12 tiny little missions. And then you go, every time you complete a mission, you go up a wee bit in what they call infinite. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I should have just saved this for the DLC review, but since the start, I'm not going to stop. So, you complete the missions, you get some coins, you can spend those coins on... Upgrades for the missions, but those upgrades for me are useless because uh, You can choose the new missions on your own or with a group of AI who are all they do is die um, And if you don't if you do it on your own you get more money Well, you get the same money if you do it with a group of people as long as everyone lives but nine times out of ten uh, at least two of them die, like out of three. So I'm doing it on my own. And the, the, the upgrade that you buy of the coins, they are ex almost exclusively for uh, the AI, like upgrading their swords and all. So, yeah. Uh, this is school on Thursday, the 20... 30th of September 2021. So, when I realized that going to Ganaway is required, I created this meme. Why is no one having a good time? Why is this ever being requested? Uh, and I was... I was talking about it in a phone class saying, yeah, you can't force us to have fun. And someone said, oh, but what if you tickle someone? Well, it's not really fun. I mean, you're laughing, but that's just a response. You're not necessarily having fun. Uh, fun fact, tickling is actually a very minor pain and Laughing is a very minor reaction to it. If you don't believe me, Google it, because I say stuff like that all the time. And when I say stuff like that, I am true. It's not something that I've made up in my head. I've heard it somewhere. Uh, just Google it. Instead of making up lies about me. So, you know, well... Make up a lie by saying I'm lying. <laughs> Yesterday I asked someone for file paper. They said no, but eventually they gave it to me. And I wasn't asking if I went, please, 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 they just read, went, actually, here you go. Um, but it turns out that what they gave me is not called file paper. It's called something else, like file notes or something. Because the media teacher, who is also the English teacher on a Monday, says that you have to do all this stuff on file paper. And I upload it. And he replies, saying, Dylan, uh, I'm trying to remember what he said. It was like, I asked him something. I, I don't remember what I, all right. You had to do four, three paragraphs for yesterday. I couldn't do it because I was 20 minutes late to class. 
So I was doing it today. Um, crap time. I was doing it today. And I, I put up a private comment saying, do you like pick one or two of these or do you have to do all of them? But before he was able to reply, I did all three of them. And I uploaded them. And then he responds about 20 minutes later. Uh, with, with once again a non-answer. He's been doing that in basically all of his answers uh, so far this year. Which, no offence to him. It's just, you've been doing that. Uh, but anyway, I was talking about it in Mentoring and I said... Yeah, he gave me, he said this, which wasn't really an answer, it was just, I guess, a, a statement of something really obvious. And it turns out the mentor actually covered for him this morning, because he's off today, as, he's, as he was yesterday. Um, so, she was able to pull up the, the like thing that the teacher left to say, what well, the class is supposed to do. And she said that you have to do it on file paper. So I pull out the quote, file paper. And the teacher goes, no, that's not file paper. That's like a file note or whatever the hell she said. So uh, to the person who gave me the file paper yesterday, you know who you are. That's not file paper. If you didn't know that wasn't file paper, okay. But just so you know, that's not file paper, apparently. Take it up with the teacher if you're at, if you're mad. Um, <clears throat> she also said to me that, like I, I told her about what happened with Ignite and the Dylan step away now. Which turns out the audio for that was broken, so I'm, I'm actually going to recreate it and send it to McKnight, but I, I would have to go downstairs and get Toblerone because I at the, the one I have from that video. So, I said that to her. Not because, I wasn't trying to report McKnight or anything because the people, the teachers who dealt with it already knew it was a joke because McKnight is a joke's joker. Um, uh, joker reference, very funny. Uh, whatever. But that's, that wasn't why I wanted to talk about it. Why I wanted to talk about it with her is because who was she talking to? We do not know. She hasn't given an answer. And we cannot stop the thing if we don't know. Right. If you tell someone to stop, and they're doing a bunch of different things that are all... In fact, screw that metaphor, I'm, I'm just going to say it. We can't stop if we don't know what we're supposed to stop. Anyway... <clears throat> so she said that uh, it turns out that I think she was actually his form teacher and sent a selfie of himself photoshopped into Mr. Smile or I think uh, so and then he also said miss I want to join the Irish Republican Army that's a very good career choice, McKnight. And that was the end of that conversation. So, yeah. And then it turns out that because the media teacher isn't in today, the study teacher was going to cover. Despite the fact that that didn't really mean anything, all I meant was that it was technically a study period. Because I didn't do my media work in the media session, I guess you, you could call it. Because I was told, yeah, these paragraphs you did this morning, they're fine, but you're going to have to read about them on file paper, which I did. Next to McKnight, who we kept on distracting each other. Um, after that, we had English, and we had a... PowerPoint presentation due. I asked three days ago if we should do it on PowerPoint or Word. 
because the teacher never actually, I don't think she ever actually said that it needs to be on PowerPoint. I think she just said that we had to do it. So I said, is it better off to be on PowerPoint or Word? Uh, it turns out it's PowerPoint because we have to present it. Luckily, it's a small class. And we don't have to stand up in front of the class. Um, I had done nothing of it because the teacher didn't respond and I was busy doing media work and uh, getting caught up and all. So I said, uh, yeah, crap, I didn't do it. Oh, um, I was the only guy in the classroom because one of them is off for some reason, the other one. It apparently intentionally stayed off because he didn't want to do the presentation. So if that guy's watching this, hi, I, I don't really want to say anything mean about you. <laughs> the hell is that? Anyway, so uh, the teacher was talking to two or four teens for a long time, at least ten minutes. So so eventually, people, you know, the people who were waiting said, oh yeah, Dylan, you could do it right now. So I, I went, uh, go on Safari, search up, how to write an essay in five seconds. I wasn't even able to word it correctly, and as soon as I hit enter, the teacher walked out, and I had to quickly close the iPad so it didn't look like it was, like, doing the thing in the middle of the class. So she was, she remembered that we had to do it. And... I was like, oh crap. Uh, she had to step out again. I went, right, I have to write this. And I wasn't able to find much. I was able to find two websites that actually had stuff on it. Let me just see if I can get it on Google Drive. Yeah, so it turns out that I, I haven't signed it into my CTK account yet on my phone. And. Because of the way that adding accounts onto a phone works, I'm scared that the video is going to break. So I'm not going to do that until the video ends, and then I'll probably show it tomorrow. But there was two websites that contain information, and there wasn't really much on it. So I wrote one slide that basically said, and the question was, like, uh, who is Nathaniel Hawthorne's famous ancestor? How did he influence Nate in the writing Scarlet Letter? Um, I I couldn't be bothered to look up the questions. So I, I googled who is Nathaniel Hawthorne's uncle. Who is a very different person. The famous ancestor is actually his great great grandpa. Um, and the reason why that his great great grandpa is significant is significant is that. And his name is John Hawthorne. John was a judge in the Salem Witch Trials. And he was the only judge to not regret what he, you know, his sentencing of these women to death. I don't know how many judges there were, but he was the one person that didn't regret his actions. So his great great grandson learned that that, that happened. And it inspired them to write the Scarlet Letter. I wrote that on one slide. And I asked someone who completed the work. How many slides do you have to do? They said four. So I said crap. Uh, and I basically split it down into three parts. Because four slides really is a title card. And three slides of information. Um, so... I wrote on the first slide uh, that John Hawthorne is a was a judge during the Salem Witch Trials, the only person to not regret his actions. The second slide I wrote, Nathaniel is his grand great great grandson who learned that this happened. And was inspired to write the Scarlet Letter. 
or no. All I remember is that in the last slide, I wrote that only George did not regret his actions. I thought, this isn't good enough, I need to do something. So I quickly took the screenshot I had of John uh, and sort of drew like eyebrows on him to make, to make him look angry. But he didn't look angry. So I say, oh, screw it, I'm just going to put that in. And like sort of type a speech bubble saying they deserved it or something. If, uh, if I can't be factual, if I can't add an awful, just try and add humor to it. But I'm not a funny person. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a different question. There's five questions. I picked the fourth one. I can't do the fifth one because it's too hard. It's the hardest of them. On that might be a good thing because it means I have more, more to cover. Uh, it's supposed to be that we were all supposed to do one uh, each, you know, if one person does the third quest and no one else can do the third question. Good thing is that I think two people did the first question, so uh, I could probably just slide in and do two or three, whichever one hasn't been touched yet. Um, so, yeah. Uh, teacher had to step out again, mobile. It's multiple times, so I didn't have to do it today. <laughs> Very lucky. Um, and yeah, I think I, that's the entire day. Anyway, this Twitter as of 5 past 8 p.m. on Thursday, the 30th of September 2021. Not all men, what? Once again, a bunch of crap. <laughs> Those rocks, whoops. Those rocks are down. And it's not giving me articles with Salt Bay. Salt Bay was like four years ago. Alright. Yeah, I'm not buying it. The, the 3D trilogy is unplayable. Like, they're good, but they're unplayable. So, nope, not bad. <laughs> Bethesda doesn't really know how to do RPGs. Because, here's the thing about Bethesda, yeah, they're big. Yeah, they have a lot of content, but they're they're not full, right? I'm trying to think of a metaphor, but I just can't think of one. If you take Skyrim and you take The Witcher, they're both massive, both a lot of stuff in them. You know, you it's hard to find a place that doesn't have a lot of lore to it. But The Witcher just has, it's just bulkier. The only thing I can think of right now is that The Witcher, like, you have choices to it. Uh, in Skyrim and all, it's just, there is an element of choice, but it's not really big. Your choices don't really matter that much, but with The Witcher, they do. What is Matt Luke's doing? I'm honestly surprised that the LGB alliance hasn't been cancelled yet. Because, like, when it comes to society, society sort of prefers transgenders over uh, lesbians, gays, and bi's. So, I'm just dumbfounded by the fact that they haven't been cancelled yet. And I say yet because it's a definite that they will be cancelled.
Hi, I'm Johnny Walk Knox Knoxville and welcome to Jackass. Except instead of the rest of the shorts just society. <laughs> Why do you follow me? I don't because you're a communist piece of crap. Stone cost profile picture opinion discard it. Bro, I don't care. This isn't based, but as a Jewish person, I want to physically harm Stone Toss. Proud to not be Jewish. And racism? Agreed. Abolish affirmative action. That is true. Affirmative action is racist. Well, it's not, I wouldn't really call it racist, just that it is harmful to minorities. Anyway, I've, I've never seen advocates of public transport, transport ever address how it enables the homeless pro life or it. Japan has great public transport and very low homelessness. Correlation does equal causation. Well, I wonder if anything special about Japan that caused this. Hmm. Trick or treat. Wait your turn, damn it. Simon Selwood was also ordered. To pay 128 pound victim surcharge and a total of 1,000 in costs and compensation. Marcus, how come you haven't said anything about the WBA fan who got sentenced for 8 weeks for a jokey meet in a Facebook group? Because this is the first I have heard of it. I don't have a psychic RSS feed in my brain that tells me about any and all free speech issues at the moment that they happen.